Hello everyone, we're back. That's right, we're back here in the Fort Wilmington Chamber of Commerce with our good friend 2019, Matt Turpin, the CFO for Bank of England Mortgage. How's your job going? It's great. Fantastic. Mortgages are still just as busy. So you remember during the last interview we had, we chatted about that November 2018, big election here. How did that turn out, by the way? Turned out pretty well. We, we, we've collected a good bit of money for sales tax to do different improvements, whether it's transportation, public safety, or um, stormwater. Yeah, so yeah. It, it's going very well. It is going very well. We're honored to have Matt on that advisory committee again, November 2018. 64% of the population said, yes, it's time for me to reinvest in the infrastructure, the stormwater and public safety of Okaloosa County. They collected, they selected a advisory committee, Matt Turpin in charge of that this year. So let's chat about here at part two. Let's talk about the public roads and infrastructure part, because this is the big one. Yeah. This was a big selling point. One of the big ticket items was the Southwest Crestview Bypass. Right. There, there were uh, several funding sources. Uh, one is City of Crestview, uh, Department of Transportation, uh, and, and Triumph funds, along with uh, the biggest cohesive part of, right. of the Triumph funds was passing this half cent surtax to put money toward this Crestview Bypasses as many of the base commanders and, and leaders in, on the basis that it, it, the, the traffic and the traffic flow of Crestview is a mission critical uh, topic. Uh, so it, it was extremely important to, to start this project so that the, tra the traffic flow in Crestview moved more efficiently. Yeah, and, and I don't know who PJ Adams was, but he certainly, he or she, yeah. is getting national recognition now as the big road. And we'll try to find out who PJ Adams is, but big project, Matt, which is really cool. So the county following through on their initiative to reinvest the infrastructure, but also the cities also have some. Right. So the there are different buckets and the, the biggest bucket of this half cent sales tax goes to the county, but also every, every municipality, Fort Walton Beach, Baker, uh, Laurel Hill, Niceville, Destin, Crestview, they also get a percentage of that half cent that, that's collected. So each individual uh, municipality can, will also do projects. Uh, we've, a, as a board, we encourage there to be partnerships. So it's just not the county paying for a project. It would be in partnership with uh, a, 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 a grant or a developer or a, an entity that's putting money toward these projects so that more projects get made uh, complete while not using up the entire amount of funds from the county or the city's half cent sales tax. Yeah, and I saw again here in Fort Wall Beach, Hughes, right there by uh, Wendy's. Hughes. I saw the one on Yacht Club Drive, Yacht which Drive, you live yeah. on, by yes, the way, yes. which I'm coming by on Halloween, yeah, by the yeah, way. Come on. And then over in Destin Commons, so I saw the nice sign that had yeah. been done. So great use of those funds. Uh, you've got to be very happy. The committee's got to be very happy the way it's progressing. Yeah, we are in a great position that, that people, uh, particularly landowners, that, that don't want uh, a, a asphalt truck going across our street every day. Uh, those, those comments have been held low because people want to see better roads. They want a, uh, a, a, a way to bypass Crestview and not have to sit in line at three and four and five o'clock in the afternoon to get back home or to get uh, to work on the southern part of the county earlier in the morning. So uh, the the Southwest Crestview Bypass is a, is, is, is a multi-phase project with uh, not only PJ Adams, but going a new exit ramp going across I-10 right. uh, and and uh, with a new cut-in road that, that, that will head more directly north than, than P.G. Adams does on the north side of I-10 now. So it, uh, the project is progressing very well, although if you've driven by P.G. Adams, you just see dirt being moved all day long. Well, it's going to be moved for the next couple of years, though. Yeah, so I want to thank Matt Turpin, the chair of the advisory committee for Okaloosa County. That's the infrastructure subject. We're going to come back next week and talk about public safety, and then we'll talk about stormwater. But, folks, a great project, your half cent, working on behalf of our counties and our cities. Talk to you next week.